What's good? You know who it is. It's Coach. Just want to talk a little bit about the Usyk and Bellew fight. I haven't really said nothing about it, but I am excited about it because I'm a big fan of both. I really do think that Usyk could give um, Bellew problems, in my personal opinion. I think that um, he honestly has bitten off more than he could chew with Bellew, but I understand why he's fighting. You know, with the whole, you know, with the Bellew and the David Hay thing, you could just, it's my personal opinion, I'm only a legend, but it just seems like, you know, when you look at David Hay, when he fought Bellew, what you're seeing is basically the same thing that happened to Roy Jones Jr. Somebody who fights off of reflexes, you know, uh, white fast twitch fibers. And when you don't work those out and you, can't, and you lose a lot of your explosiveness and your entire fight strategy is, and fight style is based upon it, then you're going to lose to a thinking man like Bellew. But see, that's why I think, honestly, you know, I'm not counting Bellew out of this fight. Bellew definitely does have the, you know, the potential to win. Um, but at the same time, I do think that uh, Tony, it, it, I don't think he wins this fight. I don't think he wins this fight at all. Um, it's, it's, Usek has, I think Usek, when you combine the level of skill, IQ, um, and just innate athleticism, I think it's going to end up being too much for Tony Bellew. And at the end of the day, that's really what counts in boxing. If you got the combination, you know, when you look at Bellew, Bellew has a knockout power. He doesn't have, it's, it's, he does have the IQ, so he, I think I give him more than just a puncher's chance. But if Usyk is on his game that night, I don't think Tony, Tony has enough to beat him. You know what I mean? You can't really look at Usyk and you watch his highlights or you watch his, you know, some of his fights. And, you know, people are going to say the same thing about David Hay. But, you know, I could tell, you know, David Hay mentally was never the same after that Vladimir Kitschko. You know, he really, after he fought Klitschko, um, David Hay was trying to find it. He was really trying to find that light of fame, and he never really found it. And, you know, I think when he was trying to fight Bellew, I think he, you know, like everybody else did, I think he overlooked Tony and was using that as a, you know, way to get a get a quick check, step up fight, get his name back into um, contention in those circles. And then you were going to see, you know, David Hay, you know, try to make a run, maybe at Anthony Joshua while, you know, Anthony Joshua was inexperienced. But, you know, what they, what they say about boxes, you can't wait too long because people are still going, people are still fighting. And I think that's what in, ended up even happening. And, you know, and I think, you know, with his reflexes going and, you know, there was some underlying rumblings that he might have been taking performance enhancing drugs. Hence, with the Achilles tendon tear and all the innate injuries that were going on, you know, for him to have a physique but have, you know, be suffering from that many injuries. You know, that could always have been a question there. But, you know, I'm not saying that he did. But, you know, there is a lot of different um, um, similarities with people that have used performance enhancing drugs and industries, especially people that have abused them. So, in my personal opinion, with this Tony Bellew fight versus Usyk, I think Usyk gets him. I think Usyk actually knocks out Bellew. I think he knocks him out, I'll say, 10th round. You know, between the 8th and 10th round, I see a knockout for Usyk. And I think, honestly... You know, I think Eddie Hearn will have his star. I think um, the next fight for um, Anthony Joshua will end up probably being in April. It'll probably be that Usyk fight. You know, I don't see Deontay Wilder or him maybe coming to anywhere close to a negotiation. Because if Wilder beats Fury, he's going to demand a 50-50. And that leaves only Usyk right now as the only viable option to, to keep Anthony Joshua, you know, and the whole claims of ducking, you know, out of there. But hey guys, hit the like, hit the subscribe button. I'll be speaking to you soon.